by weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, another quiet day across the region. That was the good news. We had some sunshine out there. Didn't have to worry about any snow, sleet, freezing rain, or rain. But temperatures still on the cold side, well below average for the time of year. We should be right around 50, 51 degrees. Well, hey, outside right now, even with that bright sunshine, 20 degrees below the average. We're standing at 31 across the board in town. Humidity 33% of southwest breeze in here, 16. And that's really putting a bite in the air. The feel like temperature all the way down to 20 at this point in the game. You can see lots of readings, basically 20s and 30s across a good chunk of the Ohio Valley. The exception, St. Louis getting into the lower 40s. Hey, hey, by late this afternoon. Nice to see a 40 on the old map, isn't it? There's the weather in motion, a mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout this Tuesday. Right now, bright sunshine. But as Rick and Vicki talked about earlier in the newscast, a couple of winter storms have been moving across the southern United States, producing sleet, freezing rain, and snow. Here's the first one now in Virginia, down through North Carolina. It's been a mess throughout the course of the afternoon for those folks. And the next one is already developing here in the desert southwest. Look at that little spin right there. For the most part, this thing is again going to take the southern route and pretty much miss us. And as a result, you can see widespread winter weather watches, warnings, and advisories posted all the way from the Tennessee Valley through the deep south with yet another bout of freezing rain, sleet, and snow for those folks. For us, it's been high pressure that's been in control, kind of keeping us quiet the past couple of days, that high now off to the south of us. And as we put the maps in motion, a weak front will approach, but really it's going to kind of fall apart before getting here. So the bottom line will stay quiet tonight, quiet again tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds, and temperatures just a little bit warmer. I mean, we're taking baby steps right now as far as the warm-up is concerned. Again, we topped out around 32 today. I think tomorrow will be in the middle and upper 30s on your Wednesday afternoon, again with quiet skies resuming. Now, tomorrow night and Thursday, looks like that system, that southern system, may come close enough to the region to bring us a chance for a little bit of light snow, especially south of Louisville. And then as another bout of Arctic high pressure starts building in here Thursday and Friday, one thing's for sure, temperatures will stay very, very cold for the time of year. And it looks like as that cold air moves in, could squeeze out a little bit of light snow here Thursday. Not a big storm, but still, it's late February. We need it to start warming up. Not this go around the rest of the work week. It's certainly going to stay on the cold side. Let's check your forecast now as we move through the evening. Quiet, chilly. Those numbers will be dropping through the 20s. A few clouds will drift in during the mid and late evening hours. By 10 o'clock tonight, we'll fall off to around 25 degrees as the clouds start increasing. We'll go mostly cloudy for a good chunk of the night, and as a result, not nearly as cold as what we had this morning. I think we'll wake up to 22 degrees on your Wednesday morning, still well below average for the time of year. Hey, midday tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds, readings right around 30 to 32 degrees. Dry skies will continue. All right, here's your seven day forecast. There's a few bright spots here. We have 35 tomorrow, 29 and 23. All right, here comes that next batch of Arctic air. Could squeeze out a little bit of light snow late Wednesday night through Thursday morning. And as we move into the weekend, still cold and chilly Saturday. We're up to 47 on Sunday, albeit with a chance for rain showers. And it looks like some wet weather chances will continue early next week. And as we move into next Tuesday, there are at least signs that we could get close to 50, at least temporarily. Will it last uh, the first week of March? No, it looks like it's going to get cold again after that, <laughs> back into the 30s or so, but we're trying. I mean, I'm pressing every button I have back there right now, and none of them are working. Not working. <laughs> Keep pressing. They're frozen. Uh, I certainly will. I certainly will. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. There's new information tonight about a possible motivation.